Uh, this work marks a new tendency of Indian guerrillas, especially in our painting, which emerged after having gone through a period of contemplation and reached the point of departure uh, during our fellowship residency in Germany. Before this process even started, uh, questions about comfort zone, repetition, even the practice of self barriarism in our art marking uh, always came up. Is it true that uh, for the sake of consistency in a narrow context, or perhaps more extremely, for the sake of the brand, we have to work to achieve the same output? Shouldn't we be suspicious when after some time uh, we keep producing works with the same form, same story? Perhaps uh, we become too lazy to experiment, to let our imagination run, even though imagination is the privilege of the artist. This anxiety starts to fade away when we begin uh, to have a dialogue with ourselves. As a part of nature, we are always reminded to see and to learn from nature. Nature teaches us uh, that nothing is fixed. Things that are rigid and unchanged are projections of human's ego that tries to conquer everything, including time. But humans themselves uh, cannot escape change. This is most visible in our body. If there is one thing unchanged from humans, it is its potential to always give and receive love. This makes indie guerrillas no longer hesitate about uh, going through the process of evolving our works in any form. Because we know that uh, the only thing consistent in our work is our passion. Our love towards art and everything around it is the energy that liberates us, not the other way. Uh, that energy became uh, the theme of this work, uh, to make present uh, something that is invisible, untouchable, and to make visible what's hidden, so we can appreciate it sensorically. This work uh, captures movement and uh, this is its main difference with Indigerilla's previous works. Movement here refers to human's movement. You may interpret this movement as anything, but for sure movement is uh, something beautiful and full of energy. It is a proof that uh, we are not a static entity, and movement is also a sign that we are alive.